What is going on everyone? It's Sean with another Tesla video and in this one I want to provide you with an update on battery degradation in my Model S 60 kilowatt hour battery. But before I do that, I want to invite you all who are watching to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I've been following the stats and 98% of you who are watching my videos are not subscribed. So if you're interested in Tesla, you're considering buying a Tesla, these videos are all designed just for you. So give it a subscribe. Also, if the video has been helpful, go ahead and give it a like. It would mean a lot to me. And if you are in the market for a new or inventory Model S or Model X, please uh, use my referral link down below in the video description. Now, let's get into the meat and potatoes of this video. So what's been going on since the last time I did a video on battery degradation? Now, if you've been following my videos, I did one about six months ago and the battery degradation, well, let me back up a little bit and give you a little bit of background in case you haven't watched my previous video. So I purchased this Model S about a year ago uh, used from Tesla. It's a 2013. It was three years old when I purchased it and it only ha had actually uh, 16,000 miles on it. So very, very low miles for being a three-year-old car. And when I did a full charge to 100%, the rated range was 201 miles. Now, six months later or a full 12 months since I've owned it, what is that battery degradation? So uh, when I measured this yesterday, I had 87,000 miles on the car and the battery degradation, or let, let's just start with the rated range that it was at when I charged to 100%. So the rated range that uh, it was at was 195 miles. So that's a six mile decrease in rated range. Now, when I did my last video, I had a handful of people who who told me, Sean, that's not really an accurate way to measure uh, battery degradation because rated range is really an estimated range. And the true way to do it is to measure kilowatt hours from a full charge to zero. Now, I have been wanting to do a video like that to determine how many kilowatt hours are in my 60 kilowatt hour battery pack, or at least how many, how much I have access to. But it's really difficult for me to do because it requires that I commit uh, a, a 200 miles of driving straight uh, to tell. So I actually did this inadvertently on accident. I actually uh, ran out of battery, um, not intentionally, but I will admit I pushed my pushed my car a little bit further than um, I probably should have. The battery actually, the car actually made me pull over to the side of the road with four miles of range left on the uh, binnacle screen. So it told me I had four miles, but it really just ran out. What was the kilowatt hours that it told me I had driven in that entire drive? 51.3 kilowatt hours. So. Unfortunately, I don't know how many kilowatt hours I had access to when I first bought the car. So I don't know the true degradation. However, um, if I'm measuring the rated range when I charge to 100% from when I first bought it until now, it's about a two and a half to 3% uh, reduction in range or degradation in range so in a 12 month period with an 87,000 mile car, the battery has degraded three and a half, sorry, two and a half to 3%. It's somewhere in the middle there. In fact, I'll, I'll put it up on the screen now. But um, I have actually seen some significant changes since I ran out of battery uh, about a week and a half ago. It's been fluctuating a lot more when I charge to 100%. So I don't know if running out of battery has impacted um, impacted the estimator uh, on how much range is available, but um, that's something that I'll keep a close eye on. But uh, for for this purpose, uh, we're going to say that that uh, in a 12 month period, 
and a total of 87,000 miles on the car, uh, it's uh, the battery has degraded about three percent. Let's just let's just be generous and say three percent instead of two and a half. Um, so, moving forward. The next time I do one of these snapshots of battery degradation, I will be able to tell you um, from a kilowatt hour standpoint how much the battery has degraded versus trying to measure rated range. And uh, hopefully this is this is helpful. I, um, I should also add, and I should have mentioned this in the very beginning, that um, um, as far as uh, how often I'm charging, so I'm charging to 100% on a daily basis. Uh, that's mostly because I do a lot of driving and I've got a small, uh, smaller battery, 60 kilowatt hour battery, which gives me about 200 miles of range. Um, so if I had a larger, larger size battery pack, I probably would not charge to 100% because I knew that I could get around uh, with a, a shorter or smaller uh, charge, a more limited charge. So, um, I hope this is helpful, and uh, let me know what your thoughts are. Uh, have you, are you a Tesla owner, and have you seen similar things like this? Do you charge to 100% or only 70% or 80 or 90%? Would love to uh, get some real-time feedback in the comments. And as well, if you have not subscribed, give it a subscribe, give it a like. And if you are in the market for a newer inventory Tesla, take a look at the referral link in the description. Thanks so much for tuning in and see you in the next video.